Hey, you're watching a really spooky episode of Jake and Amir. Is it actually scary? <sighs> Halloween time and there is trouble afoot. Awesome, big foot. Go <laughs> no, with it. no, I wanted a bigger reaction. Let me give you some more options. No, 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 no. Fun thing about this costume, you can wear it after Halloween and get into hospitals pretty I need easily. To get into hospitals. For fun little pranks. Like two weeks ago, I walk up to a family of four in a waiting room who's awaiting news and I'm just covered in fake blood and I go, I'm so sorry. They start bawling. I can't even keep a straight face. Funny thing is, three minutes later, the real doctor comes in and tells them that their little boy had indeed actually passed away. I felt vindicated! Of course not. Wah! I think I'll quit candy next year. Cold turkey. <laughs> yeah, your forehead is freezing. It's like a chilled, glassy mug. How do you do that? Legally, I'm dead. I wish, man. Mean. I ain't afraid of no ghost. You absolutely are afraid of ghosts. You called me last night in tears because you were afraid a boogeyman was outside your window trying to scare you. He was. You said he was staring at you from across the street, threatening you with cue cards because he didn't know how to speak? That's right. Who's gonna refuse to give me candy? You go trick-or-treating? I thought this was for a costume party. What's a costume part? The boogeyman's cue card said, I can see you, you spendthrift, you Jew spendthrift. Now come down here and give me cash or I'll boogie you. That's correct. You also mentioned the other side of his sign said, Why lie? I need pot. So I think you might have just gotten swindled by a homeless man. Perhaps. Maybe. Mayhaps. Probably. Probably. You Americans have Halloween. We call it Oktoberfest. Prost! Did you piss in that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had to make it a bit yellow. When you finally approached the boogeyman with $2,500 in cash, he said, this isn't enough. Get ready, I'm gonna boogie you. So you ran away to the nearest ATM and took out even more money. Yeah, the boogeyman's appetite for cash was insatiable to be sure, but I stood up for myself. I refused to be boogied. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Oh, take my cash. Dumb costume. <laughs> madness? Didn't say madness. This is Sparta. Jake, I'm exhausted. I'm tired of this. Me too. It's year in, year out, and it wears on you. It really does, every day. It's fatigue. It That's is. what it is. I feel drained. Oh, you can't just go around kicking people in the chest, man. God, that's a dated costume. Dated? All right, stop. This hey. is Sparta. Don't, don't. Look at me. I know. I'm telling you this self-reflection right now. It really feels like it's... It feels healthy. I'm doing a character, you idiot. <laughs> Gay prisoner. Sergeant <laughs> reported for duty, sir, in the puffy army. How is this even a costume? And can you please not say <laughs> in the office? I don't have to listen to you. <laughs> I report to Colonel <laughs> in the puffy army. <laughs> Division. Oh, hey, partner, don't mind me. I'm just fucking a cow. You mean riding a bull. Ah. Never mind. You thought this was a fucking a cow costume? Never mind. And when you said you spent a month at bull riding camp, were you fucking cows? Never mind! If you like that video and want to watch more, you can subscribe by clicking here. And you can watch more videos by clicking here. And since this is, this is like a green screen, so we can be anywhere. So let's say, uh, we're in outer space. I don't want to be here. Okay. <laughs>